I'm Norm Scott, cartoonist, animator, interactive entertainer. That's not the same thing as a webcam model. I love video games. For over 12 years, I worked for video game magazines and news sites like Electronic Gaming Monthly and 1UP.com when it was owned by IGN. I have over 150 games in my Steam account. I have played four of them. Hello everyone, this is Norm Scott. I am not playing today Rise Son of Rome for Xbox One. That's Rise, R-Y-S-E, yes, they misspelled it. That's the kind of mistake you see all too often when somebody tries to rush something out for a hardware launch. Freaking morons. This playthrough is completely unscripted. That means that, like 90% of most Let's Play videos, this one's going to consist of about 15 minutes of dead air and occasionally the silence being broken up by a guy going, uh... And then saying, here's this guy, and then saying, let's go over here. Although, again, I am not playing this one. This one actually is a playthrough that was previously recorded by YouTube user GamerZombie, J-M-E-R-R Zombie. Uh, his link is in the description if you really want to play through the whole thing with him. I, uh, I make it sound like a bad thing. He's doing a fine job. In fact, this is just a cutscene right here. So... Uh, unless this is Fat Man the Game. The truth is, I haven't actually played X, uh, er, Xbox. No, I have played Xbox. I have not played Rise, Son of Rome. In fact, I'm really not too awfully sure what it is. Uh, so, because I'm not playing it, I'm going to check the Wikipedia page. Excuse me. And that is officially not the response you want when you uh, pray for help. Can't really do anything for you, but I'll bleed out, uh, you know, from my eyeballs. Not doing anything. Also, not a great tactic here from Emperor Fat Guy. Uh, you know, you've already got everybody fighting on the ground. Just wanted to remind you, defend your Emperor. I know you're not doing it right now. That's really not a great management style. But we are seeing a lot of fighting here. Guys being hammered, swords going through. And, unless I miss my guess, what we're seeing right here is... Whoop! Oh, okay, actually, that's a title. But that gentleman does appear to be our hero. And, uh, going back to the Wikipedia page, which I was interrupted on... Uh, what we have here... The player controls Marius Titus, a Roman general. General, that is. Uh, story. The story follows Marius' life from early childhood to becoming a leader in the Roman Legion. The story is described as an epic tale of revenge spanning an entire lifetime. So I guess what we're seeing there is, uh, is Marius at, at age five. He, you know, must have matured pretty quick. Alright, so we're skipping over most of the, uh, the tutorial, the gameplay tutorial. It's worth noting in the Wikipedia page, uh, the gameplay, like the, the description for the single-player gameplay, consists of exactly three lines. So you're not talking about the deepest combat system in the world. Uh, what I will say for this game, though, is that it is one of the prettiest next-gen games I've actually seen. The, you know, uh, I say next-gen, it's maybe current-gen, maybe last-gen by the time you see it. Uh, but this was developed by Crytek, and Crytek is a developer mostly famous for making games that your PC can't actually run. That was that was pretty much uh, my experience with everybody who ever played Crisis back in the day. They they go on about their fantastic rig, and then they'd say, and "Yeah, eventually I'm going to add in, you know, an extra gigabyte of RAM so I can play Crisis." Uh, I don't know of anybody who ever actually successfully installed Crisis. Like, was able to get it running at 30 frames a second. I think, uh, I think even now, if you try to install Crisis on a 16 gig uh, system and you know i5 processor, you're still going to chug out like 15 frames a second. That was that was their stock and trade. They that was considered a badge of honor in the PC world. Is that if your computer actually died trying to play Crisis? 
All right, I uh, I think I'm getting a pretty good idea of uh, <laughs> of what the game's all about so far as gameplay. The this has all the earmarks of a game, and you had these on pretty much every console launch. Uh, a game that was made to show off the graphical power of the new console, made to be watched from your friend Sofa while he's playing it, uh, so you can be all impressed and, and look to, you know, finally investing in a new console. It, it's not one of those things that you're going to find yourself really lost in like Skyrim. It's, it's not that deep. But it looks fantastic. Uh, it really does look absolutely wonderful. This is a... Uh, this is very close to the prettiest next-gen game I've seen. You know, one thing I will point out about this game, uh, you know, people do complain about the repetitive combat in it, but you got off easy, you're just pressing buttons. This guy is literally having to chop off people's limbs one after the other, you know, through a hundred different guys. I get tired if I have to hammer something for more than 15 minutes. It shows dedication, it shows good training, and uh, he's wearing armor too, That's that can't be making the job easier. <laughs> now here is a tactic that uh, that they usually recommend against at West Point, and that is setting the building on fire and then fighting inside of the building you just set on fire. Uh, I, I think they missed a lesson there or got them in the wrong order. And uh, cutscene, okay. Uh, old guy here is the, the old emperor. This is actually uh, Emperor Nero, by the way, and... I don't know if we got any history buffs here, but he's, he is uh, going, he's got a secret room. And I will tell you one thing about Nero is that you probably don't want to know what he keeps in his secret room. I mean, you just look at that guy's face and you just know, you know, you're going to walk through a narrow corridor that's got uh, cobwebs and at the very end of it, you're going to find like, like six furry suits and uh, a leather strap. That's, that is all that is waiting for you if you follow this guy down the hallway. My father. My father taught me that we are fated by the gods, but that we alone choose our path. And that is about all I have time for today. That's right, busy man, got things to do. That's the entire point of the show. And so while I will technically still not be playing Rise of Rome, I also won't be looking at the video which means that I probably will not be qualified at that point to comment on it further. But I hope you enjoyed the couple minutes I spent with it. I think that the game looks fantastic. Uh, it's been out for a couple months. You may be able to pick it up cheaper for, uh, for the Xbox One than it was at launch. And uh, yeah, I'd play it. It looks nice. It looks fantastic. I, you know, it's not a Skyrim type experience, but you don't need everything to be. Sometimes you're just looking to hand it off to somebody who really sucks at games and needs to be able to, to power through something by mashing buttons. At any rate, this is Norm Scott's Let's Not Play. Uh, if you do Let's Play videos and you'd like to see your playthrough featured on here, uh, leave a link in the comments. There is a very good chance that I will not play your playthrough and a smaller but significant chance that I will actually use it for commentary. Until next time, this is Norm. Y'all take her easy. Remember, not all your enemies.